Okay, we have a call from Don Nguyen from Cowboy Logic, who are huge supporters of the J6. For those of you that don't know, can't imagine anybody out here doesn't know that. But um, Don Nguyen from Cowboy Logic. Hey, Don. 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 Hey, listen. We just wanted Donna and I wanted to tell you, and she's she's on her way home right now. She'll be getting here soon, so I'm hoping that she can get in here in time to be able to say hello to all you patriots as well. But we mainly just wanted to thank you all for your dedication, your your conviction to being out there every night, whether it's decent weather or crappy weather, whether it's warm and hot, whether it's cold. <laughs> We wish that we were closer and that we could be up there. We had hoped that we could come to CPAC this year, but because of work schedules, it just wasn't possible. But please know that if we'd have been at CPAC, we would have been with you guys every night. Oh, Not just yeah, one yeah. night, but every night. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Dawn. We love you guys. Just so you know, one of the um, guys is listening. So who's on the phone? Thank you, Terry. Barry Ramey's on, on the other line listening to you, so words of encouragement, is it? Hey, how you doing, brother? He can't talk that. Uh, Very good. You can hear me. Yes. Say it one more time. I can, I, I, I can hear you, brother. Awesome. I had a big success at trial, so um, I'm, I'm feeling good. Awesome. Yes. Hey, feeling good is what all this is hopefully about. Hey, I wanted to let all you patriots know something, and uh, I shared this with Mama Mickey last night, about a month and a half ago, and, and listen, Mickey, if you need to cut me off, cut me off, because I'm, I'm walking around talking, I'm not watching, so I don't know what's going on out there. We're listening to um, you, Don, that's what's going on. <laughs> well, last night, Mickey and I were talking on the phone, and a few months ago, we had a little young kid named Max and his father James on our show. And what these people do, this family does it all together. They make flags. And the, the name of their, their website or their website URL is youramericanflagstore.com. And after we had them on, they're super patriots. They got canceled by social media. They got canceled by Facebook. They got canceled by uh, uh, their uh, uh, payment modules, whatever payment modules they were using, canceled them and withheld a bunch of money because they made a Trump flag for, for a customer. At any rate, after they came on our show, they decided that they wanted to make a J6 flag. And so I got in touch with uh, Kelly Meggs there in C2B. He and I talk at least once every night. Some people, I think it's primarily Donna and Connie Meggs, call what Kelly and I have as a bromance. But uh, <laughs> hey, we'll call it whatever you want. It's a bromance. At any rate, um, I got with Kelly and I said, hey man, I need you to to describe to me in no uncertain terms the original J6 flag that was designed out of C2B. So he got together with the guys and he called me back and they said, here's what it was. The original J6 flag, because you've seen the ones that have, you know, uh, POW stuff on them and they're black and white and and people have made all versions of J6 flags. I wanted the original thing that came out of C2B. So here's the, here's the design. It's the Betsy Ross flag. But instead of having 13 white stars, there are seven stars. There are six white ones, and the top star is a red star. And that star is known as the Babbitt star. And inside the circle, there's a one, a slash, and a six. And here's the beauty of what's going on with this flag that these guys are making. For every flag that is sold, everybody that goes to uh, youramericanflagstore.com and buys one of these J6 flags, they will actually make a second one. And they give that flag away 
to a family of a J6er. They ship it out to them and they send it out. And the first one, the first one that was ever made for a customer, that first fleet free flag is going to Mickey. No. Yes. Mama Bear. Amen. That's awesome. Okay? And it's it's being shipped out. Okay? The second one that we're sending out is going to our brother Aaron who lost his beautiful wife. Okay? So if anybody can jot that down or if you guys can stick that on social media, uh, it would be awesome. There is no promo code. You just have to you just have to order one. And and then a a second one will always be made for every one that is sold. That's amazing. All right, what's your question? Um, I just wanted to let you know, Don, that uh, 1791 Stormtrooper put that out today, and his followers have already ordered hundreds. Oh, wow. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Digging it, 1791 Stormtrooper. Yeah. Is he there right now? Love you. Wow. All right, he's there. Hey, yeah. brother, we love you, man. He's a, you bet. He's a, he's, a, he's a man of few words, but I'm telling you, yeah, he's he's he's, he's out he's out here with us every night. He's one of the live streamers out here every night. Right? Oh, we watch it. Okay, we yeah. watch. They watch. Yeah. It. Don and Donna. Fact, last Cowboy night, Laundry Donna was watching. sitting at the yeah. dining room table watching you guys. <laughs> All right. That's amazing. I was sitting in a chair listening. We we <laughs> value the work that you guys do. We appreciate it so much. We know we can't even well, we know. We think we know the kind of sacrifice you guys are making by, by making this kind of a commitment. Okay? And God bless you. Thank you. God Don. bless you for what you're doing. And I know you. without a doubt, because we talk to these guys every night in that do do lock just like you do we know how much you all mean to them it you can't put words on this stuff you just can't put words on it all you guys thank you so much we love you guys and every single person that watches from the live streamers thank you so much yeah y'all made such a huge difference yes well and i think you know mickey you spent time over at cpac right a little uh, yeah, bit. A little, a little bit. bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yes, yes. Okay, all right. I guarantee you, after these three or four days up there in D.C. at CPAC, the nation has been woken up to what's going on in D.C. with regard to the one sixers and the vigil and, and the, the yellow ribbons that we saw while we were watching it. It, yes, you, guys, you guys made a difference and that's what's so important guys like 1791 stormtrooper uh, those of you that are out there I, I see your faces i see your faces while we're watching from 650 miles away you are the people that are making the difference you are the people that are making it so these j6ers that are inside that damn gulag and elsewhere that they get up every day with hope. They get up every day with a, with the passion still burning inside of them. If it wasn't for you guys, it would be, it, it, it might not be possible. You guys know what these guys are facing in there. Thank you, Don. And thank again, everybody, everybody, because you know, we, we have been out here quite some time and, and, uh, a lot of these people out here have been out out here with us quite some time too, and the J6 presence at CPAC this year was was amazing. Uh, Suzanne Monk was there. Um, Rebecca. Rebecca out here with the, we the people, Mega, Stephanie who got in front of Steve Bannon's audience. Um, so many of us: Dave Valentine, Tommy Tatum, Gary Nicole McBride. Reffitt, Gary McBride, Sarah McAbee, Sarah McAbee, Sarah McAbee Anastasia, Randy oh, yeah. Ireland, yep. Mel Holly. Um, everybody out there working hard for these guys, and, and we did. Uh, I, I do believe we affected CPAC this year. I know you did. I know you did. You had people talking about Jan 6 that have been silent up to this point, or at very best, uh, minimally talking about it from the from the uh, from the sidelines. Right. And and that was a beautiful thing. Hey, by the way, Nicole, a couple of weeks ago. We ran the video of you sitting behind that little Jamie Raskin <laughs> yeah. while he was talking. 
And and that was epic, girl. <laughs> epic. <laughs> yeah. It's like, tell me more, you idiot. Don't David got shit by Twitter yeah, lawyer. Yeah, baby. We <laughs> ran that thing. We ran that footage, and we had a big old arrow pointing right at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was there. We were actually all we were all in the front row. You couldn't see us because of Jamie Raskin's. You want to stand up? Big head. Yeah. Um, we couldn't see uh, everybody because of uh, Jamie Raskin's big head, but. Um, uh, Tom, Tommy Tatum was there. Ivan Raiklin was there. Dave Valentine with Freedom Express was there. I was there. I believe that day Victoria White and uh, her I'll friend. Do I don't even want to say anybody's name because, you know, that's what Victoria White got in trouble for being in the hall. Sure, Congress. sure. Well, did, let me ask you this. Did little Jamie Raskin know you were there? Oh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. I bet you couldn't have shoved a grease BB in his butt hole. <laughs> nice. Ivan Raiklin said, I'm Ivan Raiklin, and I'm sitting right behind you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. And David yep. Valentine got shushed by a, a Twitter lawyer. A different day. Like Twitter <laughs> files. No, that was a different That's oh, Twitter that was a, lawyer. That was a Twitter files hearing. Yeah, a Twitter lawyer shushed David Valentine. And we shushed and him back. Dave, yeah, Tommy and Dave shushed him right back. <laughs> and we have little neck exercises we do in the morning because Tommy Tatum was sitting in these congressional hearings and, and uh, <laughs> Tommy Tatum has a neck workout uh, video. I mean, he's, uh, he needs to have a routine for his neck video because uh, he, sh so he gives him face and yes. brings, shakes his head and... Rolls yeah, my eyes, rolls his eyes, shows my yep. disdain. So yeah, we, we size are, heavily. But we've not gotten in trouble <laughs> for the for the head shaking yet. That's what we can get away with. Hey, I don't want to eat up any J Sixers time if they're calling out here. But uh, the Queen just walked in. You guys want to say hey to Donna? Oh, we would yeah. love to say hey to Donna. Is he still on the phone? All right, look, I don't know. Is he still there? Let me get her here. She's walked out into the garage now. Still there. They want to talk to you. Well, I'm talking to Leslie McGrew on this phone. Okay, well, she's got Leslie McGrew on another phone. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, put hey, Leslie, her on. Say hey to everybody up at the vigil. Hey, Leslie. Hey, Leslie. Hi, Shannon. Hey, Leslie. How everybody? <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. All right, so here's Donna. I'm going to talk to Leslie for a minute. Okay. okay. Talking about Jack Tate. Barry Ramey's on the line. Uh, <laughs> Barry Ramey's on the line listening to you guys, too. Hey, all right. Hey, hello. Hey, so what, Donna. What's happening? What did I miss? I just got home. The flag. Oh, yeah. Don told us about the flag, but Stormtrooper, or 1791 Stormtrooper, he would put it on his site today, and they've already sold hundreds, they said. <gasps> oh, my God. That's awesome. Right? You know how long it's going to take <laughs> them to make <laughs> Christmas that one, I bet. But, hey, that's awesome. That's right. just awesome. That is awesome. How's the weather out there? It's a little it's chilly, tonight. huh? No, no it's a nice yeah. night out here tonight. Comparatively so. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Yeah. That's good to know. Well, we, um, we're we glad he had a great turnout from, um, from CPAC as well. That was awesome. It was awesome. So... so well, Barry huh? Ramey, Barry Ramey had some news about his trial. We never got to quite hear, but he said, um, "Barry, are you still there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to tell us what happened at trial?" Well, sure. Uh, yeah, with uh, Cowboy Logic just said, it's uh, ex extremely important and true. I'm living testimony to that. Jury trial? Bench. Bench. Uh, no. Bench trial. Uh, okay. You know, what, what, what judge? A lot of these judges are starting to realize, uh, well, you know what? There might be two sides to the story here, and we've been lied to by our government for the last two years. Maybe so. Let's yeah. hope so. We can only hope leads. that's the case. And, well, this you is, know, they yeah, can yeah, only do yeah. what they're told, yeah. and, and unfortunately, uh, <laughs> We knew what the other side was two years ago, and, and it's been with I mean, The bigger picture we've been saying it on our show is that 
all of a sudden people are waking up to the fact that the government is being less than truthful right. on a number of issues. For a long well, time. How polite are gonna, you, uh, less for than long, truthful? Long time. Good for you, Donna. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. Oh, God, if Tony Meggs is calling in, I'll send her to voicemail. <laughs> 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 it must be must be the C2B Oath Keepers and everything else uh, call in show. Yeah, well, you know, that's why we're out here. We love to spread the love. Yeah, well, we love you guys. And Mama Mickey, you got to see, all you guys got to see what we have on our show next week. It, it's just awesome. All right, just we'll look awesome forward to that. With, um, with uh, what Ed Henry put together with Donald Trump singing the. Uh, national anthem from you guys and trump doing the pledge of allegiance it's it's awesome yay thanks so, thanks Ed Henry for getting on board we thank you. you we love you too guys bye donna okay. bye don Hang in there. thank you he's still talking to leslie mm, okay. okay oh my phone's gonna die still there, barry? bye yeah, barry. Well, look, glad to hear that barry i didn't know that so yeah thank excited you for, for sharing you. that that's good stuff I know your time's probably almost gone, but I'm glad you got to share that with Cowboy Logic. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But you got to be swallowed alive by those things. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. For some reason, it's hard to hear you all of a sudden. What happened? It's echo. All right. All better now? That's better. That is better, yeah. I was just calling to make sure that you guys weren't swallowed alive by those all-black lunatics last night, the oh, ones that were gender confused. They, they were whining. So, they were whining so hard, and somebody out here—I don't want to say the name just in case—somebody out here was pointing a flashlight at them, and, and they uh, ran up to one of the police cars out here and said that it was assault. Meanwhile, while a little boy was walking up the driveway and they were pay playing their disgusting pornographic music and, and uh, the lady had a, a fake black penis and shook at him and he's like, what is that? And I went over and told the police what it was. Sorry, live streamers. And, and, and I went over and told the police about it and they didn't do anything about it. They just like, oh, yeah, okay. So, I, you know, it, 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 things just, I, I, I don't know how in, in any world that was okay. But they were calling for white shirts and everything else out here because somebody pointed a flashlight at them. Was it me? Yeah, uh, 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 I remember in the summer of 2020 how they were shining lasers in police officers' eyes, causing serious retina damage. I wonder if you could replace flashlights with laser fire if they meant like that. Right, right. But then, <laughs> then they went home because the police wouldn't do what they wanted them to, and then we had another one come down here. So we had a busy night out here last night, but it's okay. We had some people that had never been here before, so at least they got to have the whole experience. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I think there, there are some poor little rich girls that come out here to earn their drug money. I mean, I, I think they, you know, like are rebelling against nothing. I don't, yeah. know, I don't know what they're doing out here, but they definitely don't have a very good message. They never did. They nope. never did. <laughs> they just... All right, guys. Well, I want to call and say the good news. You know, I know people had uh, messaged my fiance that said they heard that something was good, but they didn't hear exactly what, what the case was. And well, I'm glad. Just, uh, I'm it, glad that, that happened. Yeah, I'm glad you called back and let us know because it was really hard to hear over you last night. I mean, over the people across the street. So thank you for calling and, and uh, sharing that with us. We appreciate that. No so problem, guys. We have to be saying that God bless you all. Thank you for what you're doing. Uh, Cowboy Logic was 100% right. You, what you guys are doing has, uh, has given us a lot of moral support to uh, to go through the thoughts that we're going through. And uh, it's been extremely helpful, probably more than you'll ever realize. All of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nicole said to tell you she's sorry she wasn't there, but we were at CPAC. No, no worries, man. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be out. It couldn't have been any better. You know, just glad to just look at the facts of the case. That's uh, pretty much what the government said. Uh, there was a the mob of the charges they charged me with, which was my, my point the whole time. I never tried to claim I was innocent. I just wasn't guilty of all the shit that they charged me with. Excuse my language. That's all right. But, I can't uh, tell fortunately, the judge, fortunately, the judge agreed. Yes. Yes, well, thank God for that, and thank you for calling and sharing that with us. And Nicole said, I mean, I, you know, I just, 
talked about what Nicole said. We did make an impact on CPAC this year. So yeah, J6 came out strong. You, had, you guys had a lot of representation there. Tell them to call it J6 pack. Yeah, there people are calling it oh. J6 pack. Hey, what was that name that was that uh, that uh, those flags are being made up so I can have close it up? What is the name of the flag company? Fla your, American. your American flag store. Your American flag store. Com. All right, awesome. I'm going to have my fiance plug that. Give those people some support which they deserve. We got to we got to band together and start buying American and supporting American, or else China's going to take it all from us. Yes, sir. Right. Yep. Yep. American made. All right, guys. Flag. God bless you. Thank you, God bless you, USA, as always. Uh, next time, please be safe and keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, baby. You too. Bye.